Hey there, I am Subhav Ramnani, the guy who's mad about medicine, just like you, and also a final year medical student who's firing away his Anki cards day in and day out, and also from time to time, sometimes committing these five mistakes. So let's get straight to it. So mistake number one, and thankfully till now I have not committed this mistake and you shouldn't as well. The first thing is missing a day. So when you start Anki, the number one rule is never to miss a day or never to miss or skip your reviews. It just breaks the algorithm. What is the point if you are not going to keep up with reviews? There is no point of this Anki or any other type of revision. So make sure you are never skipping a day, never skipping any reviews and also make that streak your motivation. Currently my only motivation to complete my Anki cards by the end of the day is to keep up with my streak. That is all. And you can see I have a pretty good streak going on not flexing but I really have gone through doing all these cards on new years, on birthdays and whatever. So make this streak your motivation and you will never miss a day. Mistake number two. And yes, I have committed this mistake that is not learning the information before unlocking the Anki card. So let's say you are using a pre-made deck which has so many cards. So what you tend to do is you tend to learn the information from the card itself. Eventually what will that lead to is memorization of the card. But if you learn the information from some other resource first and just to retain that information you use Anki that is much 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 more beneficial and actually that is what Anki is for. It is not to learn the information but it is to retain the information. So keep sure so make sure that you keep that in mind and learn the information first and retain it with the help of Anki. Before moving forward, let me introduce you to the Fundamentals of Anki course by Hussain who is currently a medical student from London. Now Anki is tough to understand and this is where this course comes in. It covers all the basics of Anki, right from how to get started to add-ons and whatnot. It even has a dedicated section explaining how to use Anki in medical school and yes, also some tips for making your own Anki cards and also using the pre-made text. The course is just $39 and by putting in the code MAM20 you will instantly get a 20% discount. So make sure to click the link below in the description to access this course and don't forget to get that exclusive 20% discount by putting in the code MAM20. Mistake number 3. Not hitting that again button. Now we've all been there. We've all been there where we know a card and we think of it and then we click on that spacebar button and it's just a slight bit different. Like I knew it 70% but not 100%. And that is the time where we all think, should I press good? Should I press hard? Should I press again? What should I do? Most of the time I'm, I've been there, I just press good or just hard because well, I recalled it but 70% so it's hard. Well, that is not what we should do and I have suffered. We should not be afraid to click on the again button. The thing is, I got the card wrong. That's a fact. Even if it was 30% wrong, I got it wrong. I should hit again and that is how the card will come again and then I will know the 100% of the card and try to retain that 100% of the information. If I just press good or hard, it will keep on continuing with the algorithm and it will come later and again I'll just remember 70% of it and I'll have this a gap in my knowledge which I don't really want. So don't be afraid to click the again button. If it's wrong, it is wrong. Mistake number four, reading versus recalling. I know you've done it the time when you have 600, 700 cards and a really short amount of time where you have to complete all these cards because life happened. What you do is you read the card, press space bar, read the card, press space bar and go on doing it. Well, you should stop doing that. You should rather recall it, plan your day ahead, whatever you need to do, but do not read the card for Anki. 
just look at the question look at the card actively recall it in your brain and then then press the space bar button to check if you remembered it correctly that's how it should be it should not be like okay you saw the card and then you press the space bar and the answer came and you recognized it and you're like oh yeah i know this and then the next card no you do not have to recognize the card you have to recall the card so do not read but recall and the last mistake mistake number 5 is do not compare your progress with someone else's progress i know you've been there you've seen those reddit posts that some guy did 600 cards in just for example 20 minutes and you're like bashing away just uh, 10 cards per minute so you get this idea like am i doing something wrong am i doing something less am i stupid am i not a genius like him no everyone has their own speed do not compare your statistics with someone else's statistics you do not know what subject they are doing maybe they are doing a language and you are doing some medical knowledge cards so just focus on your progress your statistics and try to make them better make them a better version of yesterday and you'll be good to go no need to compare from others if you have to compare compare it from the yesterday statistics and make today's better so that's it just a short video of five mistakes people usually commit while doing anki and i've been there too and if this video helped you to rectify and acknowledge these mistakes don't forget to thumbs up don't forget to click the thumbs up button and as always stay healthy stay safe and stay mad but just about medicine